Hi, and welcome to today's CAD Dimensions Tech Tip. My name is Franco Rotoli, and today we're going to be talking about SOLIDWORKS Display State. Display states are to visualization properties what configurations are to dimensional changes and suppression states. So you might be asking, what good are display states if I can just use configurations? Today, I plan to show you. Display states are easy to set up and use. They are fast and can convey a family of designs or design options without adding much overhead to your models. They can also make your design time easier and more efficient by hiding components that are in the way, only showing you a subset of your assembly. Let's take a look at this assembly from the oil and gas industry. Many of the components are getting in the way of running a pipe route easily. I have to rotate and zoom quite a bit to get the view that I want. I could make a configuration that suppresses these components, but that would suppress all their mates as well, and that could break the assembly. Hiding the components is a much better solution. Hiding the components one by one can be tedious, and I could forget to unhide a key component. Selection sets and display states to the rescue. Here I have a selection set with the components already selected. To create a selection set, all you have to do is multi-select some components, bodies, faces, or even edges, right-click and choose Save Selection. The set will get saved to your tree and with one click you can select all those items again. But anyway, back to display states. At the bottom of my configuration tree, I can create new ones, or delete or modify existing ones. As of SOLIDWORKS 2017, you can also control display state functionality in the display pane via the right-click menu. Let's quickly create a new display state where we hide everything except tank 1. By using my selection set, I can select everything, right click, and click hide. Now you can see the difference between the two display states. But that's not where it ends. Just like configurations, you can open to a specific display state as well. This means if you have many graphics intensive components that take a while to load graphically, you can hide them and not have them load on open. Once you're done with your design, you can use display states to test out different colors or transparencies for your components. Let's take this bike for example. I've created display states to easily and instantly change between three color schemes. If I need to send these designs to a client, I can create a drawing with a view referencing each display state. Just select the view and the display states are listed in the property manager. If static 2D views are not my client's thing, eDrawings also supports display states. By publishing an eDrawing of the assembly, all configurations and display states can be saved and accessed. Hopefully I've shown you some of the power and flexibility of SOLIDWORKS display states. If you have any questions on any of the topics I've covered, please feel free to call us. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Don't forget to check us out on YouTube, Twitter, Facebook, and our blog for more great content by clicking on the links in the description below.